That's me. Just preparing a little dinner. This is uh, mung bean wide noodles with olive oil and um, Parmesan Romano mixed cheese and some really nice hot pepper. And I think I'm about to enjoy it. When I'm done with this, I'm going to have some tea. I quit caffeine maybe, I don't know, a year and a half ago or so. I've never been more wired. It feels great. Today is the first headache I've had in many months. I have a feeling it's ascension related. And maybe I'm just hungry. This, I'll bring it over there, is the tea that I like. I use these foam cups because in the morning I'll have my oatmeal with tahini for my protein. And so I'll repurpose the cups several times so I'm not throwing away the foam. I don't feel that bad about the foam, quite honestly. And the reason why is that I put it so much solar technology in place. That's why I'm called Energy E, that I can afford to use a little styrofoam. It's no big deal, okay? And I do use it several times. That was St. John's wort mixed with chamomile. Don't need any sugar. So, what type of solar did I do? That's why I'm called the Energy E, or at least when I started. Now, it probably has more to do with ascension, but I'm a mechanical engineer by training, and wow, I've never seen it do that. The cheese got stretchy like in the beginning because of the oil and the mung bean. Uh, never mind, I obsess. So, I wound up into the energy business doing lightning protection and transient voltage surge suppression and grounding performance upgrades. That was fun. And uh, I worked for a good friend. We had fun together. And then I moved into the solar business. And I started doing solar thermal that takes sunshine and makes heat out of it. Later I wound up doing sunshine into electrons, basically the what you plug into the wall, sunshine. Term that is called photovoltaic. Sometimes people call it PV. So then I was Energy E. We did a radio show, a couple of radio shows, three in fact, and had a lot of fun with that. And I was the energy guy. Uh, it was a home improvement radio show. Other people on the show would do HVAC, basically heating, ventilating, air conditioning, or they would do plumbing, or there was the electrician, or there was the leak detection guy, or there was the flooring guy, or the roofer. My thing was energy. And uh, solar has been tons of fun. But if I tell people I'm the energy guy, they usually don't get it. But if I say I do solar, then they go, oh, okay, they understand. So I love geothermal. Um, with respect to consciousness, I'm designing a pyramid. I can't wait to build it. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be the same geometry, essentially, as uh, the Great Pyramid of Giza. And it will be constructed at material which I intend for to be able to bring light energy from the ground up through the uprights, if you will, those four diagonals, which will then go into a ring, maybe up about say about five and a half to six feet up, and then will be the cap, which will be essentially right above where the crown chakra would be, which is going to be a ton of fun. Uh, at some point in the, in the future, hopefully not too distant, I will be uh, constructing a pyramid, again according to sacred geometry, which will have fiber optics and geothermal power and taking uh, water from the uh, water table uh, according to has, how I've been instructed and gotten downloads to do. Um, and using copper coils 
in a Fibonacci type sequence, if you want to call it hel helical, call it as you like, right? So many people think only in 2D, and they're, they're all of a sudden they're going to elevate into like quadrillion dimensions. Okay, one step at a time, folks. This is going to be fun. I expect that that's going to be a really, really good project when it gets big, because it's going to be 108 feet on each side. Um, I've been designing the world's most comfortable home since 2006. Perfect pressure, temperature, humidity, because I used to be a builder, and I, I built production homes uh, with another good friend, great guy, I miss him. Where are you, where are you at, Wes? Where are you? And I learned a little bit, but I also learned how many things I need to learn. Okay, in doing this, you know what, I'm rambling. I'm sorry, I'll catch you another time. Energy E, that's me. Thanks for watching.